see that you finished your exercise but i think you should quickly take a bath now as your body is releasing some stinky winky odor <laughs> hey friends bad body odor is something we all especially adults deal with every now and then but do you know what are the factors responsible for it so in today's episode let us explore the stinky winky world of body odor and answer a smelly question. What causes body odor? Zoom in! Imagine you are sitting in the classroom and one of the teachers rushes in drenched in sweat, smelling like a blend of onion and rotten cheese. And most of you won't find it difficult to identify that stinky smell we call body odor. But before you blame the sweat glands for it, we need to understand that body odor is a complex phenomenon influenced by various factors such as your diet, health, age, hygiene and genetic condition. But the vital question is, what causes this odor and where does it come from? Well, our body has millions of sweat glands all over it that come in three major types, namely eccrine sweat glands, apocrine sweat glands and sebaceous glands. Eccrine sweat glands are located all over your body since birth. Whereas, the other two get activated during puberty. And among these different types of glands, the body odor is primarily the result of the apocrine sweat glands situated at your armpits. These glands release is full of protein and fats. Although it's easy to jump to the conclusion and blame this protein-filled sweat for that stinky smell, in reality, they are actually odorless. Yes, my friends, sweat on its own doesn't stink. So then, who is the main culprit behind those unpleasant smells? Well, it's not just glands present on your body, but it is also a home for millions of bacteria. And many of these bacteria love to build their houses on the moist environment of our armpits. And after working all day long, these bacteria like to feed on the proteins and fats present in the sweat produced by the apocrine glands, breaking down the odorless compounds into new ones, resulting in that unpleasant smell we call body odor. But don't you worry, my friends, as it's pretty easy to get rid of body odor. Daily bath and regular washing with soap and water can usually keep stinky sweat under control. Also, many adults find that wearing deodorant helps as well. Trivia time! Did you know men sweat 40% more than women? Yes, it's because the female body is better able to keep a constant temperature. Also, Dogs and cats control their body temperature by panting, meaning they breathe fast. They don't have sweat glands all over their bodies like humans do. It's question time! So, today's question is, which sweat gland produces protein and fats filled sweat? Do write your answer in the comments section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids cutesy beautsy family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. Never mind.
Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.